Dododo resident Ignacio Nash Camacho said he moved to Guam after retiring from the military. The military came to Guam and discovered the roots in uh, Tasi, traditions about seafaring islands to preserve uh, the seafaring culture of Guam. Camacho, who is part of Traditions About Seafaring Islands, or TASI, is preparing to set sail from Taiwan to Guam using traditional navigational techniques such as stars and tides. And many have asked him why. The entire Pacific was, uh, the migration of the people in the Pacific were due to the design of the proa, which is uh, common to all Pacific islands. And in that way, we settled our own islands, we explored, uh, we went into the open ocean, and we had an entire continent of water that we explored. Uh, we were supposedly discovered by the West in 1521. But even by then, Guam already had a 2,000-year tradition of uh, sailing and migration to these islands. So that's the, really the reason that drives me to do it, to bring that to the people and the, and the world, actually. On his Taiwan-Guam journey, he will be joined by German circumnavigator Bogard Piska, who in turn is doing the Rapa Nui experiment. The experiment has Piska sailing with navigators from Pacific cultures. The first leg of Piska's adventure will be with Camacho. He lived a lot of his time in the Pacific and understood the importance of the proa, or what we call our suckman, in uh, migration throughout the Pacific. And he wanted to uh, replicate a modern proa in the shape of our uh, traditional suckman and sail it from Asia, the origin of the Chamor peoples in uh, Taiwan, uh, in legs all the way across the Pacific to Rapa Nui, the last landfall in the Pacific. Camacho recently departed to northern Germany, where he and Captain Piska will undergo sea trials on the Anavaru, a proa that is birthed there. We take her out into the Baltic Sea, up towards Sweden, Finland, uh, that, that entire area for sea trials. He estimates the training will last about a month. Camacho has been mentally preparing himself for the journey, noting that he is not the most senior navigator. For the last few years, I've been concentrating on learning everything I can about the aspects of uh, non-instrument navigation, traditional seafaring, uh, from different masters. We don't have masters on Guam, so we're learning from uh, our Yapis master navigators and our Polo Watis master navigators and other people in the region. According to Camacho, depending on the conditions, the journey from Taiwan to Guam could take anywhere from 21 days to three months. The plan is to arrive just in time for the Festival of the Pacific Arts, which is scheduled for May 2016. The biggest point we want to make is that Guam, the Marianas Islands, Micronesia, and all of the Pacific needs to understand and be proud of the role of uh, our seafaring tradition. It's how we got here. It's how we continue to live, and we're revitalizing that on Guam. And we have an opportunity to showcase that by arriving on Guam just before the uh, 2016 Festival of Pacific Arts. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gincharfres.